Could North Carolina Republicans revisit the state's notorious bathroom bill? Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson is once again talking about transgender people and restrooms while on the campaign trail. He's currently the front runner in the Republican primary for governor. WRL's Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie talked to experts who say it probably won't help Robinson come November. You might remember that state lawmakers here passed several measures targeting transgender children and teens last year, so clearly it's a hot topic with a conservative base. The question is how much farther Republican lawmakers might be likely to go this year and what that could mean for the general election in November. With the primary election just three weeks away, Republican frontrunner Mark Robinson is regularly bringing up transgender people and restrooms at campaign events like this one in Cary. That sounds a lot like House Bill 2, the notorious so-called bathroom bill from 2016 that regulated which restrooms transgender people could use. It provoked a huge backlash, including a boycott that cost the state billions of dollars before it was partially repealed the next year. NC State political scientist Stephen Green doesn't think state lawmakers will want to revisit that issue in an election year. He's not sure why Robinson does. It's bad politics. You know, arguably, this could help him win the Republican primary, but he already seems in a strong position there. And, you know, looking at the general election, running as a right wing culture warrior is not a recipe for winning statewide election as governor in North Carolina. Meredith College political scientist David McLennan says it's just the latest example in Robinson's long track record of anti-LGBTQ statements. He's provocative and that gets him a lot of airtime. Uh, but on the other hand, he's going to be somewhat like Donald Trump. He's probably the great, greatest turnout machine that the Democrats could hope for. Robinson's Republican primary opponents, Bill Graham and Dale Falwell, criticized his comments. Mark Robinson is going to lose, and he will hurt all Republican candidates up and down the ballot if he's the nominee, said Graham spokesman Alec Baltzigar. And Dale Falwell responded, Mark Robinson is history's latest example of someone rising to power through hate. I called and emailed Robinson's campaign asking for an interview or a comment. They did not respond. I also contacted legislative leaders here about their thoughts about revisiting HB2. They did not respond either. Laura Leslie, WRAL News, Raleigh.